such a wonderful way. Look across it. Rise and shine. This is your time. This seals. Motivation Academy. Motivation Academy. Motivation Academy. We bring love to the woman of the world. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere you are. With a good vibration, vibration, positive meditation. Motivation Academy. Motivation Academy. Motivation Academy. Motivation Academy. say live and direct i do mean live and direct the pool is getting hot the temperature is hot outside greatness greatness i even went for a, a little dive earlier so it's all good it's all good the sun is shining we are shining more and more as inside so outside is that what i marked today as inside so outside that should be <laughs> that makes sense what we have inside is often uh, what we're going to experience on the outside. So, Be wise, be wise, my friend, be wise. And that's what we were talking with uh, with PT, is just to become wiser. I think we, and it's just, I think it's, uh, you know, I was thinking of something too before, retirement. I was thinking about retirement. Why do they want us to, because when we get a little bit older, when we, I have to stop. 
because I'm keep looking there. Now. Okay, here I'll put the other screen on. When we get the uh, older, older, yeah, I'm not getting old, but I'm getting older. I cannot uh, deny this, no, really. No. That's a reality. No. Many, many uh, topics we went on, and I really uh, enjoyed myself uh, yesterday with PT. Hold on, I'll put the. Okay, I have the chat going on. The sound is off. Bonjour. We get what we give. Bonjour, Godfrey. Un plaisir. Hein? Great vibe, too, on the radio last night with uh, Ras Midas. Showcase. Large up. Great vibe. Ras Midas has a really, really great vibe. I invite you to uh, listen to his, uh, his music. It's great. Upliftment and progress always. And... Uh, yeah, when I was talking, as inside, so outside. Yeah, simple. And I think it's just, and the, yeah, the topics with PT also I wanted to talk to you about. Gonna have PT again next week. Next strong. <laughs> next strong, not next week. I, I don't like that word. Next strong, we're gonna have PT again. Got lots of, I, I didn't even go through a little bit. I had a full page, I went through the first thing, Vedic Astrology. And even that, I have more questions uh, for him. So I don't think we're totally done with the astrological part of it. Astrological. Yeah, it's logic. So, uh, yeah, we're not totally done. I have other stuff to... Uh... But so far, so far, no. So... Greetings. Suzanne, Godfrey, bonjour, bonjour, un plaisir encore une fois, bien sûr. Euh, non, that's it, the showcase, lots of stuff happening. Né? Like, I keep the inside very alive. That I think that's what is also that, uh, that way to not get old. You can prevent getting older, but you don't have to be old. You don't have to feel old. You don't have to... All these things and the retirement, that's what I was talking about before. All this is concepts to to take the power away from men. What means the word concept is uh, to take the power away from men. That's exactly what it is. So every concept, that's why the word concept, like, I don't know. It's a, uh, got to be careful about concepts. Né? Me, I, I try to stay out of definition, out of explanation. Like I said to PT, I don't expect you to define the reality for me. You know, I can use my eyes, my senses, but that's what we have come down to. We have let go of all the, the, the senses and stuff. I also very, very enjoyed when he was talking about the spirit people, the people with spirit, like why certain of us question things deeply others do not question nothing at all like uh, why is that then he came with his uh spirit uh thing which is which makes sense uh, because why some of us see things here very deeply and some others do not care about nothing no they don't even care about themselves they they trash their body they get super they don't care so why is that why 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 I think it has a lot to do with uh, are you a being or you're a robot? You know, it's at that point. It's either you become a, a divine being on earth or you're simply a robot automat. And that's really what it is. And that's what I see in the world. Uh, like he said, the, the, the people that work in grocery stores that constantly pass stuff in front of them like robots. That's a robotic job. I'm not saying you don't have to work and earn your money and uh, stuff, but we shouldn't even have to do that. <laughs> That's total fantasy. But anyway, money is printed out of thin air and we have to sleep for it. That's what I was telling Kib yesterday. I said uh, they all have... Anyway, that's another fucking nonsense. But anyway, yeah. Centering was the most simplistic, profound information I reclaimed from yesterday with PT. Yeah, centering, centering, centering. Eh? That's very... Uh... No, PT is great. Uh, PT uh, gives a, a great perspective on how to work on oneself. How to... Because like he said, even with the Vedic astrology, he's not going to go too deep and explain all kinds of stuff because sometimes people haven't... They're just 
information junkie. They look for information, information, and that's all they want is without even doing a, a little bit of work on themselves to have a greater sense of who they are. And I think that's the key you know, at one point. Like, it's very easy for me to, to, to go out there and do what I have to do because I know I came here for that. Like, there's no doubt. There's no more doubt. No more, but there's a, still a bit of confusion. Like I was telling him, it's hard not to be confused in a world so negative and filled with robots and people with broken mind. It's very hard to, to just re retain my focus. That I just go outside and uh, I can be uh, fall in the maze too. <laughs> So it's very, uh, and just to stay positive, uh, like I said, just to stay positive is very important because if you are very, very positive on the inside, that's probably what you're going to experience in your, uh, in your life also, more positivity and uh, less nonsense. Eh? <laughs> yeah, basics, the foundation, but so many of us miss even the basics, the basics, the foundation, because the, the, the steps also, like we were talking, the, the steps are the same for all of us. We all have the same steps to, to go through. Eh? I mean, uh, life is life. <laughs> it's not very different for so... Depends what you, what you do with your life and stuff, but it's not something that should uh, differ a lot from individual to individual, eh? from person to person. Like the steps are the steps, but it's important to at least see the step. Like if you have a a staircase and you don't see the steps, uh, you're probably going to have a freaking trip. So see the step and stay, take them step by step. Me, I don't stress out with this. No, I'm not uh, I'm not here to live up to people's expectations, so I don't really stress and uh, I don't induce self-stress because I know that's what I'll experience distorted vibration. Like if you're very negative inside and you have stress and stuff like that, what you'll experience is a very distorted vibration on the outside. It's not going to be centered, but if you're centered, aligned, like to me, centered, aligned is, you know, it's just, just being you, just being you. Like I'm not uh, pretending to be anything else but me here, and that's what I think is a great alignment, centering, and without falling for, for anything. If you fall for, if you fall, the ones I don't know. There's a saying: if you fall for something, you'll fall for anything, or something like that. Like if you uh, rise, I think you sh we should rise and yeah, not fall. And the body being prior to mind and thought. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He brought a lot of great, uh, great point. Was an excellent interview. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I love them, and uh, it's not because it's me doing it. It's just uh, PT is a great, great person, a great person, and again. He has done a lot of uh, introspection, I'm sure. Like you don't, but again, it's not so hard to uh, to reach that state of alignment. And anybody can do what PT does. If you are uh, activate this here, you you can start the reasoning too and have great great thoughts. Like that's what we have. That the power. That's one one thing I wanted to talk to him about was the power of love, the power of the words. Uh, the, the power to make a difference. You know, there's so much power we avoid that we all have. The power I feel inside to be able to take my life to another level of happiness, because that's really what it is. It's another level of happiness. I don't want to have to worry constantly about this, 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 and that, because that takes my happiness away, my joy in the moment. So being very, very... It's another level. Like When I say another level, it's not because you're going to be a over other people is you yourself inside another level of vibration that's uh, change everything that changes everything as soon as you get that other level of uh, vibration uh, you're gonna feel it changes everything and it's very uh, resourcing it's very like and like i can say always it's you don't want to feel like you don't belong here like that retirement i was thinking about that too you know when you uh, get to a certain uh, age or something to make you think that you get old and that there's nothing left to do but retire and uh, just have pleasure and leisure and stuff i think this is the moment in our life 
where we get the, the most wisdom is when we get older. Like I didn't have the wisdom I have today back back at 20 years old. So the older I get, the the more powerful I feel. It's weird, eh? but I think that's really what it is. And many persons and many people do. And the more, the less I care what people think of me, the older I get, the less I care what people think of me and the freer I am. So it's just a process. It's step by step. But I'll, yeah, you know, it's at one point to free yourself so you're really empowered and do something magnificent with your life. <laughs> That's all it is. Eh? Higher spirit, elevate, don't retire. That's it. We elevate. We don't retire. We, we like uh, retiring. What is that? It's like uh, signing out from life. Like, what is it? You retired from what? You're retired, like you're retired from what? From society? From you? You signed out <laughs> because you're old. Because you're old, you're gonna sign out. Come on, you know there's so many people, and especially uh, people that get to a point like uh, 60, 70 years old, and uh, that's it. You have so much time on your hand. Like you could do so much to help the world at that time. Most people, most people at this time in their life will settle for pleasure leisure and stuff without even thinking of going uh but this is the spirit question also this this is the the do you have that flame inside i think it's either a flame or a spirit or something that we share mutually that desire to ascend to elevate to to, to do something more with our life i don't think everybody has that desire I think some people will just fall in the pit and the trap of Babylon, and that's it. Do not worry about it. I'm not worrying. Like I was telling him yesterday, uh, and uh, someone asked the question in the chat. They said, uh, what do we do with people that are completely asleep? Like, how do we let go? Let go. You can't You can't save them. I can't save anyone. I'm not here to, to save the world, and today I'm going to even focus more on the inside, more on the inside. So what is on the inside is very, very strong, very powerful. And that's what shows on the on the outside. But the people that, uh, listen, it's a, either uh, many are called, few are chosen. I don't know. It's possible. My parents did more during their retirement than when locked into the day-to-day -day work routine. That's it. That's it. You should do more on your on your retirement, but I don't know me. Uh, I know some people who get retired and they get very very bored, very bored. They don't know what to do when there's so much to do. So there's so much work to be done just on oneself. Okay, just consider the work you have to do on yourself that the to elevate your vibration, to elevate to a spirit level, to elevate to a not just a physical being, like that's what you are, that's what I am, but I think I can do more than just be physical. I can be also with the spirit and connect with other people that connect on that level too, because where do we connect? Really, it's from the heart. It's from the heart, the spirit. Then, Like how do we connect here and share so much day after day after day? It's because we're really connected in the heart or spirit, maybe the spirit's in the heart. I think that a lot. I think that the I don't I don't know if the spirit come from there or because the mind can trick you. The, my mind will trick me at any time. Any time if I don't have discipline, if I don't discipline myself to do something, the mind will take me out. My brain will take me out. My brain will put me on the couch, be in distraction. That's all the brain really wants to do is like if you don't train yourself, if you don't train yourself, if you don't induce that desire within you to do something with your life, you'll sit on the couch. That's what most people do. That's what most people do because they don't train themselves. They don't train the, the muscle up there. So the muscle gets very, very weak and the weak muscle don't do too, too much, cannot lift. A weak muscle cannot lift too many uh, things, too many, too much weight. So that's what you got to make this strong so you can lift yourself. You know, so you can be uplifted. That's what it is. It's really to work that muscle. So you uplift. And that's it. Discipline, essential. Oh, it's essential. If you have no discipline, forget about it. Might as well go to bed. Go back to bed if you have no discipline, I'm telling you. Because if you have no self-discipline, you can have all the intent in the world. You can think of anything. you can, But if you don't discipline yourself to do it, forget about it. 
Forget about it. Forget about the intent. So that's it. I want to retire from my hobbies. I encourage you. No, 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 for sure. That's a hobby for me. Right? That's a hobby. That's a good hobby. That's something that really uh, makes me grow each and every day. Like every time I come in, every, that, like I said to PT, every breath I take, I become more awake, more aware, more vibrant, vital, and alive. And that's the best feeling I can have in this lifetime. Now, what else do you? I, mean, I should feel with life? Having a, a big, big wallet that should make me feel happy or great or that will probably disconnect me more than anything. You know, so sometimes I... I kind of appreciate love not having too, too much in the, in the moment because also it makes me uh, challenge myself to stay very positive in our times. Like my life is not that easy. You know, if you think I have it easy and everything, oh, whoa, <laughs> it's not that easy. You know? So I struggle like each and every one of you just to make it. You know? So, okay, let's not uh, freak out here. You know? It's a day, but, but if I want to get out that, scarcity that nonsense worry life i have to induce myself and train myself to greatness oh i'll never i'll never get out of uh of this low uh not low but uh like i don't feel bad wanting more out of life i don't feel bad i want to experience abundance in the inside but if i, I i'm sure eventually abundance on the outside will come but there is abundance but for my uh, experience for my own experience more abundance will come if i have more if i'm more abundant on the inside but i do i focus on the abundance on the outside no i focus on the inside if it comes it comes if it doesn't doesn't but we should not like it should not be the priority I, my priority is really to find myself to reconnect to, to, to be able to stay alive and if I if this is the reward, let it be. Yeah, that's it. And if I have to do a, like a hobby, also is very good. Your hobby can be smoking weed, can be making videos on YouTube, can be whatever it is. Some people have your hobbies are your hobbies. Me, I don't like to give my time to things that doesn't matter. Even in my hobby time and my past time or whatever. I try to do things that I'm learning each and every day. Even the the, hunt, the tune hunting I'm doing, like I'm researching a lot of music lately, looking for new bands, looking for new vibe. Uh, this is very, this is because I have a vision about that DJ thing. I don't want to. Uh, I want to be a, a a very good DJ, like bring new tunes and good stuff and make you discover uh, new bands and new group, and so that you catch the vibe and you know the music is okay it's not everything in my life but it's kind of a it's a great vibe it's a great tool to work the muscle up there too you know you gotta give yourself a, if you go into a gym you get you need equipment to make your muscle like you need weights and stuff so that's what they are you know there's different things you can use to just lift each and every day make sure you work that muscle up there and yeah, and stay alive. <laughs> That's it. With a big wallet in my in your back pocket in your back pocket would hurt your spine. Exactly. So I prefer to keep my wallet small. And listen, I uh, life is a struggle for each and every one. But it's a struggle. It's to stay positive in the freaking nonsense. <sighs> my scarcity survival game like i would like to experience something more than survival i've been into survival all my life all my life in survival never never really i experienced some time so maybe a year or two uh, that i had a bit more with eb and stuff but other than that was survival <laughs> survival all the time so we're on the chat yeah, it's a I, yeah yeah no uh, rest my this and none were there yesterday in the chat. I uh, was very uh, pleased to see that. I was like, wow, that's great. But they're great people too. No? They're like family. They call me family now, for sure. But we do a lot uh, with rest my this also. But he's great. He's great. The man has a great vibe, and I like the way he dresses. The way he moves on stage, like he's very. Uh, and he's uh, he's reasoning a lot. He's 
And he, we're on the same page on a lot, a lot of stuff, even the, 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 the flatter thing, not that I think the whole thing is the whole thing, but the, the principle behind it. The principle, to me, the principle is think for yourself. That's the most thing I can tell you from that is the world is not what we've been told. Yeah. Could be there. Fight Radio yesterday had a friend in need. Alan Rass, yeah. Thank you, Suzanne. Great explanation. Create, yeah. Create. No, I think we're a good, uh, good gang, and we're keeping the vibes up. And you know, that's I think a duty to shine. Even if, like, my way of shining is my way of shining. That's the way I chose to do things: is coming here and talk to you because I love to speak. But you can shine many other different ways. Then, no? like you're all shining, even in the chat. No? That's shining what you do there. No? To me, no? you're uh, you're magnificent. No? You're letting your vibe shine when you come in the chat like that, and you come out and you express yourself. Because even that is a process. I understand for certain people to come out and write in the chat. Some don't want to bother with people. They tell themselves, oh, "What is you know?" There's that people that disconnection from others, and that will make like a strange a stranger a division in between people and they, some people say oh they're just stranger in the chat no you're not stranger to me you're not there so that's why i invite everyone to come in the chat and uh, just ch chat just a bit and let let your vibe show let your light shine you know don't don't keep that inside many people want to do things but they're afraid they're afraid to do it because what people think of them if they're gonna fail if they're not gonna be up to, to the just do it don't worry about anything just do it just do your thing we worry too much we worry way too much and then this worry turns into fear it's crazy you know? your mind can take you out i'm telling you follow your heart follow your path if it feels right don't tell me it doesn't feel don't tell me it's not right to come and reason with the uh, brothers and sisters i find that very uh, beautiful that we can connect like this each and every day and stay up and in with life but some people think uh, all these stuff is uh, like some people think life is such an illusion you know that they will think that they're everything in the life in life is an illusion everything is there to so it's very negative you know think positive take the chat as positive take the, the everything in your life in a positive way, and that's what you're gonna experience after. <laughs> Simple. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. Eh? It's a Saturday, and eh? the the hooky hook. It's the second. Yeah, tomorrow is the first. Yeah, yeah, we'll be celebrating my Earth Strong Day. Not that I celebrate that kind of stuff too too much. <laughs> but it's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. But even that is very confusing because, like, the calendar is so off and so, uh, like, it's total nonsense. So that's why, okay, at that, but I can relate to one thing about the, the Earth Strong Days and birthdays and stuff is I came in this world, the temperature was the same as it is now. So that's what I can relate to. Like I came in this world at this in the same time frame season than we're in now. The date, the exact moment, the, the hour you're born and stuff, that's very, very uh, confusing. But I can remember, but I don't remember, <laughs> first of all, but I uh, can relate. You know, that the 1st of June was the same temperature. That to me is a... You know that that's why we that's what we were saying yesterday the the season pass you know time time can be an illusion everything can be an illusion for you if you want you can describe anything in this world as illusion and that's what you're going to experience is a life of illusion but you know I see the sun come each and every day go to bed at night uh, um, not the the sun but I go to bed at night but the sun uh, set or whatever at night and goes away you know, when it gets a little bit darker and everything, like naturally the animal sleeps at night. Most animal, not all of them, but 
my dog, uh, it's a natural thing for her that when the sun goes down, she gets to bed naturally. Like uh, all these things. Uh, yeah. You RSS switch calendar a few months after the world conversion. Con oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's all need to uh, light purple. Oh, great. She'll love it. She'll love it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you saying? Yeah, U USSR, U URSS, yeah, URSS have uh, switched. But all this is to confuse people after, especially the, the, the changing of the time, most people. But, you know, I've never questioned anything myself. <laughs> I was a robot zombie drone. I don't know. I feel today like I, not I wasted time because I, I don't think I would have noticed the big picture and the darkness if I wouldn't have went through it. Like, I think it's a, not such a, it's not a bad experience. I've never, it's a character. It's you build your character, you build your vibe, you build your vibe along the time. And uh, for sure, I wasn't as vibrant and as uh, alive today than I was back then, for sure. Like the programming is so because it programs you to uh, to destruction, destruction of your soul. Your soul gets captured. You have no spirit. You don't connect. You don't uh, reach out. You know, reach out to the world to, to to inspire, to stay inspired, to inspire, to to connect with others, which is so easy to do. So uh, once you you let go of the nonsense programming that we. To me, life is beautiful, and it's for us to cherish and full joy. That's for sure. It's not to be in fear. I went back and tried to recall my very first memory when I asked my mother about it years ago. She said I was one month old. She was amazed. I recall. Hey, that's a good. And I, the, the my memory I can recall. The the further I can go, le. I I seen picture of myself when I was a, a year old. I've seen them. My mother showed them to me, but can't really reek. It's hard. Go back in your memory. It's like imagination. You know, imagination and memory is the same spot in the brain. I think that, to me, it feels the same. If I can imagine something far, far away, it's the same thing as remembering something in the past. Pretty much the same energy, I mean. So, yeah. So sometimes it's, uh, you know, when imagination is very powerful, just like remembering a vivid, great experience that you had in your life and big experience is good. Don't try to reminisce or to rem remember the, the, the bad stuff, but remember the good stuff for sure. And yeah, no, it's a, not, maybe, a, I don't know, maybe up to four or five year old, maybe. I don't know. I don't have a, such a huge... Uh, I think the memory is something you got to work on. You, you get, like I said, you have to work the muscle up there. I think the memory is part of it too. Yeah. Amazing memory. My first is four years old birthday. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, four years though, I can remember the Galdarak, uh, Galdarak stuff. I had a big... Uh, turntable and I had a disc and it was Galdarak and I was playing it uh, every day. Feel good old play! And all the, that stuff. I can remember the, listening to, to cartoons the, like every children <laughs> almost in this program on cartoons on madness. Program on madness and fantasy. That's what we are. We're, we're so programmed young to the fantasy that that's what we'll experience older. Until we break free from that fantasy nonsense, Ill I don't like yeah illusion stuff. No? Till you break the illusion, no? you break the spell, you break the whatever is on you. No? You're gonna have no spirit. You're gonna be a robot drone. You're gonna repeat stuff. You're not you're even gonna think for yourself. You're not even gonna think for yourself. Isn't it tragic? Eh? You have a brain. You have a capability, capacity to do anything with your life. But no, we avoid all this. We prefer being avoidance than acceptance. It's crazy. You know? It makes me sometimes you know, the, the the sleeping people and the, the, the zombie people makes me sick to see them how they hack to how they're how selfish they are. I seen it again here in action yesterday. 
Like people are so selfish, so just for themselves. They don't look around. They don't uh, notice other people around. They don't give a shit. People don't give a shit about each other. It's so bad. Sometimes they, it strike me to see this, to see the. the... That's why I got I gotta stop and let go because it's hurting. They don't want to change. They want to, but it's hard. It's hard to live in a world that you have so much. You see so much coming out of this world, so much coming out of people. But no, complete, complete, uh, complete denial of who we are. Complete denial, complete avoidance, complete unawareness. It's sometimes you think about it, it's crazy. I prefer not to think about it too much because it drives me nuts. Like I would just shake everybody to the freaking core and say, wake up, wake up. Like that's what I would do. but can't really do that. They have to wake up themselves. Even if you shake them, they won't wake up. And throwing small apples at my grandfather cows, they were running to get them. That's cool. Yeah, no, it's... Uh... Anyway, it's just shocking sometimes to see how much uh, this world is at the same time regaining light. But so much in the dark, so so much people, and also among uh, what I do, the reggae uh, community people, uh, the uh, unawareness is so. Uh, I seen something today again. Uh, you know, uh, you talk about Babylon and your song. You talk about this. You go out and blast Babylon, but then you do the propaganda of the lies of Babylon. How how nonsense is this? Uh, it has. I don't like to say stupid, but. It's really nonsense. You're really completely unaware. Like I see it so much, and I see it everywhere. And they're so proud to to, to have a picture with that ball earth behind. Like I saw one again. I'm not gonna name name, but he's posing his new it single with the big ball earth and their boat. And like the whole thing is fake. The whole thing is lies and deception. And you just propaganda stuff, and then you go tell people, "Oh, burn Babylon, go burn." How confusing is this? You are confused yourself, and you just spread more confusion. It's crazy. It makes me sick sometimes, I'm telling you. I, but that's the part I have to uh, find balance also, because if I put it in their face, forget about it, people. People don't want to get out of the lies. Unless they will fully, willingly do it, they will not move out of it. They will stay in fantasy, propagate fantasy, and think it's real, and think it's... Without even thinking, they don't even use their brain questioning is it true? Who told me that? Is it true? And no, 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 just repeat like a freaking parrot robot and never think and never really use your brain to say, oh, this is what I'm saying to people because I have a responsibility. I'm going into the world with my music. Uh, maybe I should ask myself some question. You know, I don't know. Some people are so, so unconscious. Oh, it's terrible. It makes me sick sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to see opportunities instead of problems, but that's a training too. No? That's a training. That's a big training. No? But you know, if we're uh, if the mind is negative, you will see problems and not solution. You will see uh, not opportunity, and also the the opportunity can come fast. Sometimes it can be there, boom, and you have to seize it. If you don't, it's gone. Like an idea, one idea can change your life. The other night, I was sitting here. And I, I let, let go of the zombie people. <laughs> if they don't want to wake up, they don't want to wake up. I'm not caring anymore for... I shouldn't put energy into this, but anyway. That's me. Uh, Sometimes I have to <sighs> let it out a bit. But people are freaking sleeping. Let me tell you that. Sleeping big time. Sleeping dead <laughs> robot uh, parrots. It's terrible. I am. I'm a hurt, I'm a hurt sometime. It hurts me. That's why I have to think talk about it. Yeah, as we wish for good things to happen, we have character building times for sure until our character is built enough so we make the actions we treat. That's it. It's a that's it. And that's why I don't uh, deny the experience or the the more challenging experience that I may have had in my life and I still have because they make me grow. They make me grow, but you gotta have the courage to grow if you don't have the courage to. to to look at your life and the life you live and the, all this and make a change. You're not going to care. You're going to have your little barbecue toaster uh, 
your little car, your little, don't forget the phone, very important. The device for the zombies are very important because that's what they love. They love things. They love material. So it's very important. They, they surround themselves with lots of material and they make sure that the material is abundant. So they, they don't have to, 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 to use the power of the mind to, to, to create or to, no, no, just consume, 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 keeps the mind busy and we lose all sense of reality and it's crazy. Anyway, what I was talking about music before, I said before I go on with my with my rant and let uh, my trauma out. That's what I come here to let my trauma out. Anyway, I don't come here to be popular. I told you is to let the trauma out. Big trauma inside. Yeah, yeah. But the trauma is evident for me on the outside, so I can see the trauma for myself inside because I see it outside. But if you don't see nothing wrong with this world. And you see it as natural that we fight and kill each other and rape and torture and kill and you find this normal. You close your eyes to it and you think it's freaking normal for you men to do this. You're not going to care. You're not going to want to change anything. You're just going to sit in your house with your toaster and your little TV and your little PlayStation or whatever it is. And that's going to be enough for you to live a little happy life. You're never going to ask for more. But I'm sorry, but that's not life for me. That's not life. Life has to be super huge. Life is a one-time deal, first of all. Life is a one-time deal. It's not like you're getting another chance after to make it over again. This is your only chance to make it. Take each and every day and exploit it to the max. You don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow. Like, that's why I'm here each and every day. Each and every day that I'm alive, that I feel good. That I feel good also because if I feel like shit, you won't see me here. If I feel like shit, I won't be here. So it's important to keep that good feeling with life, that positivity that allows me to create more connection, more. Yeah, for sure. You are doing the right thing. Public speaking is basic. That's another thing. I knew that I had to lift my voice, lift my voice. But if I want to lift my voice, I have to work this, work out this. The more I work out this, the more I will lift my voice, the more weight I will lift because my voice is a big, big weight. It could be a big weight on your shoulder to just lift your voice. So for sure, more training, more presence, more uh, I'll become a better speaker. I'm not anywhere near where I think I can be, okay, or what I think I can be. I'm just, 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 just barely started to scratch. I just took the penny in and to start scratching the scratch ticket. So let's not get excited here. It's just the beginning. And I'm always probably going to say that until I get to maybe 70 or 75. Then I really feel like a, a wisdom man. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. But I have a lot of things to do and reasoning to do and yeah, yeah, yeah. Life is not something you you don't you know uh, you don't get to master a recipe uh, right at the beginning and make it. You you improve usually in your recipes and stuff. So it's always an improvement. I think life is always place for improvement. Yeah, and uh, yeah, chronic pain was. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, chronic pain was uh, for sure necessary. Chronic pain was, uh, yeah. I don't think if it would be for pain also, I wouldn't be here. If it wouldn't be for pain, I wouldn't be here. Forget about that. I would be in my comfort zone working in my shop. And without the tragedy, I wouldn't even be here. I know that. I know. I was in comfort zone. I was never. But I was starting to, to research years prior to that. I started the EB like years before. I, I was start Like I had that entrepreneur spirit, that desire to do something great. I always had it because of the eBay stuff. And the, like I always, I was always a very, very good worker. Also giving my maximum. Like I'm not a lazy person. <laughs> I give the max. You know, it's always like that, that you should be also. It's uh, give more than what you're paid for. And eventually you'll be paid for more than what you do. It's common sense. You know, always do more than what you're paid for. And I always did that. I've never like, I always like, was doing my job, but was training people at the same time, which never was never asked to me to really do it. But I was taking the initiative to do it, to teach other people, because I love to teach. I love it. I think each one, teach one. Well, 
you all always have knowledge that someone else doesn't have and someone has knowledge that you don't about certain stuff here certain experience and if we don't share them well all we're gonna ever freaking have as perspective is our own like i i love to to get the god west per perspective on life suzanne all of you especially if you show up in the chat and comment I get your perspective on things and we can reason, but I don't uh, I don't give you shit if you don't show up in the chat. But it's just a good energy. It's just but I think it's sometimes people also they, they don't always feel good with themselves. So connecting, you know, once you feel good with yourself, you connect easy. You, you are not holding back to do anything. If you feel good with yourself, if you're not stressed, you're not in fear, you're not anxious, you're not nervous, you're not uh, negative. You're going to come out in the open all the time and with really keeping an open heart, uh, open the valves to the max and let the love flow. And uh, like I understand sometimes it's that process also. And some people don't see the, the, the necessity also of the interacting with others. Me, I see the necessity of interacting with others. So that's why I started that. And now we're a good uh, amount of people connecting. You're not all in the chat. <laughs> I see nine watching and I see two people in the chat. So there's seven others of you that are not in the chat. But it's okay. I don't give you shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. But it's like, you know, we shouldn't hesitate to really open our heart and interact with others and uh, let go of uh, the, the programming. Because anyway, I'm not saying it's uh, everything the chat, but it's a good, like, I don't know. Me, I never hesitate. Me, I never hesitate to uh, whatever is uh, there and I'm capable to, to to open. And because I feel good, I feel good with myself. So I feel good about others. I have no fear. I, the other day, I saw uh, Glenn on his uh, channel. I went to come, hey, bro, it's good to see you, man. Keep the, the vibes flowing, you know. Different, just a little word of encouragement can make the whole difference. You know, the, this bliss, bonjour. <laughs> Just a little uh, bonjour, Yannick. You know, just that is strength in itself. Do you want to be a strength giver or you want to close yourself, close yourself? Because once you come out like this, you give strength. I'm explaining you how I feel it. It's not because I want people in the chat and, blah, 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 and feel that. The... No, no. It's but I want to feel the energy. Yeah, but also I want you to feel it. I want you to feel good with yourself like I feel good with myself. And that's the way I think it's a good start. I don't know. But you do it on your time. You do it when you feel like it. I don't think... Uh, yeah. It's the possibility to. Some are not uh, logged into YouTube, too, so you cannot join in the chat. That's an, I understand there's all kinds of stuff possible. But uh, no, no, I'm just saying. But I like to see you in the chat, seriously. I like that thing because that's a direct uh, connection to me. We don't. We connect on the heart level. We connect on the spirit level. We don't need to connect on the physical level if you're connected with the heart, the spirit. We don't even need the physical. The physical is a tool to navigate. But it, the tool to navigate with other people is my heart. It's my heart that I use to connect with you. I want to connect to your heart. I don't care about your mind. I don't care what you think, what you... Uh, what's your opinion? What, no, I want to connect with your heart because you have a good heart and I have a good heart and we can both have a heart of gold and connect deeply and that's what I think. But yeah. Kevin's like that. He watches yet isn't logged in there. Yeah, that's it. That's some people are not logged in. I understand. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm just stating a, a fact. I'm just stating a fact. It is a good energy. Now, if you can do it or you can't or you're not able, you're at work, you might be listening to me in your car. You're for freaking driving and you can't go in the chat. I understand this. No? I'm just saying if you have the possibility to just come and connect not only with me, with other people, other very, very great people in the chat. They're here every day. Suzanne, Godfrey, Bliss, Bliss, uh, Cindy. You know, we're all a big... Uh, a tribe vibing high. So you don't you don't just connect with me, no? you connect with other people. And so that's what I'm encouraging, the connection with each other. But it's not about me or, or uh, no, no, no. But I want us to, to, you know, that's what I think we should do, connect with each other. 
That's all I'm trying to say. Connect with each other. Don't be in fear. Life is for us to for us to full joy and uh, for sure. Watches. Yeah, that's it. I know Kevin is there. There's a few others too that that watch are not uh, logged in. Like you can go on uh, www.youtube.com and search anything, and you don't need to be uh, logged in. So no, no, I I understand that, but it's just I encourage the connection. What I'm doing with this with this message that I told you is really encouraging a deep connection inside. That's a connection inside because once you like to me going in it, but. Even me, sometimes I don't go on uh, any channel just to chat, to say I chat. I get to feel uh, the energy. I get to feel the energy to go in the chat and start interacting with other people. But if I feel a great energy, which is always present here, I go in there and I for sure I feel good. Like if other people feel good about themselves, I feel good about myself. We can connect and create magnificent vibe. That's what I think. It's not so hard. <laughs> Just we need to reconnect. Connect with yourself. And then you connect with the rest of the world. But yeah. Anyway. Don't take it personal. <laughs> don't take it personal. It's nothing personal. It's just a, a thought. And a, I think we should connect more to the inside level. And that's a the, the good way. Because really that's what you do. You don't have the person in front of you. You don't know uh, really not too much about that person but you can you know that person has a great art as a great spirit so it's easy for me to, to recognize that and this bliss i never seen her suzanne uh godfrey uh, uh, leslie uh, all the all of you uh, red red is always at the library sometimes she can log in sometimes she can't but red used to be there each and every day i have a tremendous respect for her she's a great great spirit uh, you know, that's what we are, the spirit people, really, you know, because we connect from the heart. We connect from that essence of that divine essence. You know, that's what I, I feel. You know, so that's why uh, it's easy to to relate to each other, you know, to, to share our time together and just, you know, stay up and in, like I say always. Life is not about us being down or... But so many of us don't feel good. Don't feel good. So it's very hard to feel good with others and feel good with life and feel capable and see the opportunity and see the signs and see this. If you don't feel good, then you're going to close your eyes. Né? And feeling good for me is letting go of all the the, the, the bad emotions we experience here, the, the stuff that all just in place. Or make us press the uh, eject button. <laughs> Feels the energy. That's it. Feel the energy. Make us press the exit. We don't want to press the uh, exit button before our time. It's very important. Uh, the eject will come fast enough. Le. So if I start focusing on ejecting myself from life each and every day, that's living dead. If I look for uh, an exit out each and every day, that's living dead. Why would I want to exit life and live in fear and not express all the, the, the mightiness and the, the glory and the, the, the power that I have inside? For sure, but I got to work on myself. If I don't work, if I don't show up each and every day to do what I have to do, to do what my heart tells me to do, which is what I'm doing now, forget about it. Then I'm not true to myself. I'll feel bad. I'll, st I'll start shrinking again. Shrink, shrink, shrink from the inside and then boom, living dead. No more caring. No more sharing, no more contributing, no more helping. All this is freaking gone. No more compassion, no more empathy. It's all gone. I'm living dead. Is that what we want? Not really. That's not my life anymore. I left the living dead realm, and now I'm starting to think. You know, and just the action of thinking, you start to leave a little popcorn beer and shit and not caring about a single person in this world what happened to the neighbor what happened you know we're so disconnected even me even me the neighbor in front i have him there for the last 14 years never talked to him never really never said hi and they're in front of my house for the last 15 years there's no connection there's no way i just don't have the resources to build it and i'm not an expert in website and i don't have i don't want to spend time learning this it's not uh 
no, it's not where I want to focus. Eventually, someone will come along and help me with that. Um, but it's not my. Uh, or I'll learn it. Maybe there's templates you can use too. But if my first focus is not really there right now. It will come. I don't stress out. <laughs> But I bought the domain, uh, like at the beginning when I started the Motivation Academy, I said I'll buy the domain, www.motivationacademy.com, and eventually we'll do something with it. But yeah, when time is right. That's it. Have a great, uh, great day. Great day. Uplifting day. And uh, rise and shine. Do your best. Don't stress. Forget the rest. I'm going in the pool. It's getting hot. We're going to go for an early dive. And that's it. Exercise. Like I said yesterday, exercise each and every day. Train your muscle each and every day. The body muscle, the, the, the brain muscle, everything. You know, instead of wasting your time on stupid distractions, stuff that do not really matter in your life, exercise. Exercise. Work on yourself. Work out. Work out. Work out the brain and work out the body. Boom. And stay alive. And you're going to feel better with yourself, too. We'll learn how to create templates. I am. Oh, great. If you're motivated, man, you can go far. If you're, if you much, if you're motivated, for me, motivation is like intent. It's like intent. But if you have the discipline, you know what? Discipline can take you further than the intent. Because there's nothing training cannot do. There's nothing you cannot learn with training. So discipline will take you much further than any any intent, any thoughts, any anything. If you discipline yourself to do something, you will get it if you really want it. If you want it bad enough, you'll get it. But if you don't want it bad enough, what's your why? What's your why for doing things? You got to have a strong why. If you have a strong why, you have the discipline. Nothing can stop you. If you self-induce that discipline, that discipline within you, and you stick to it, because the discipline is you commanding your brain, is you thinking and commanding the action to take. You being in charge, not a robot inside. You being in charge. And if you do that, boom, live and direct. We'll learn how to create templates. That's it. So uh, beautiful people, I'm out. And I'll be back. Uh, Today, there's no Byte Radio today or Thursday. Byte Radio is tomorrow. Reggae night, Saturday night, 70s, 80s, 90s, and Sunday night, another uh, reggae night. But I have a lot of new tunes, new band to, to, to share with you. So, uh, no, great vibe. Upliftment and progress always. A radio station about elevation. Tomorrow, that's it. We'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> We'll be there tomorrow. Large up, everyone. Love you all and uh, rise and shine. Go bigger or go home. I'm out. Boom.